What's going on YouTube? Appalachian Smoke Wagon here with another video. Today we're going to talk about an update on the BCM Raider M13 Rail Mark II with the reinforced upper. We will show clear. Empty chamber, no mag. I picked this rifle up. I probably had it about two weeks now, and I've had it to the range two times. I've got about 500 rounds through it, and it's performed flawlessly. Shot some groups with several different ammos, and I really like it. Just want to give you an update on it. I did a little range video grouping some ammo and I kind of had my mic in the wrong place and it kind of glitched out and kind of ruined the video. I still posted it. So if you're one of the people that viewed that, I appreciate it because I know it was kind of hard on the ears, but thanks. But I just want to talk about how this rifle performed and it's gassed about per perfect. With most of the ammo, it ejected between three and four o'clock. One thing that really surprised me was this rail never heated up. I mag dumped about three mags of steel case and this, this thing didn't even get barely warm. Like it really surprised me how well this rail did on heat. Like I really like this rail. Now it's a little bit heavier than the lightweight rail that you can get, but I like this new rail. Uh, now, one thing, I've got to get the offset mount from uh, my light. To, it's Picatinny, so I can move it up because it's kind of back too far right now. So the next thing I get, or I'm in the process of getting, is a Picatinny offset mount for my light to move it up. And I'm really thinking about going with a pressure pad. I may get the Arasaka tail cap to where I can use a Surefire pressure pad because... From what I hear, they're way more reliable than the Streamlight pressure pads. I'm not sure. I've never really used either one, but I may get a Streamlight pad and just try them out, see how they work. One thing I did change was I put a Magpul see, K2 grip on here. I had the BCM Gunfighter grip on here, and it's it's got a little like undercut thing right here. And man, it was digging into my finger really bad after the first range day. So I changed to this one. The next day I took it out and it, it wasn't near as bad. So I'm going to stick with this grip, I believe. Uh, once I get my light moved forward, I think I'm going to move this up one slot so I can get a farther grip out because I found myself gripping farther up and wasn't even really using the hand stop. But where the light is so far back, it's kind of got me bonded up right there so that's another thing i'm gonna be doing i love the eotech really good optic really rugged i'm gonna be getting the bcm riser uh, for i think it's the at riser but it's kind of long where i can put my uh magnifier and my eotech on it and lift it up Cause I got to get so far down on the butt stock. It's just not, I just, it just needs to be lifted a little bit. That'll be coming soon. I had no malfunctions on this rifle so far in 500 rounds, which that's the way it should be. Uh, rifle runs really smooth. Like I said, it's gas, right? I also have the Gosley braided spring in here with a Gosley H2 buffer. And I think that helps a lot with the recoil and the gas. It, it just, this thing is so smooth. I don't know if you can hear the action or not, but this is definitely the smoothest action AR that I have. Uh, it's just buttery smooth. And I haven't cleaned this rifle one time yet. I'm going to run a bunch of rounds through it before I clean it and just see if I can induce a malfunction from being dirty, but she's still pretty wet so i think she's still got a lot of rounds to go before she dries out i don't know we'll see 
so yeah this is just an update on the rifle and i know these videos have got a lot of views and i haven't seen anything anyone else put anything about this raider rail on the on the internet yet which really blows me away i know a lot of guys go with the lightweight with the real thin rail this one it just it looks just like their quad rail just with the picatinny cut off for i guess to take the weight down but i really enjoy the rail it's been really nice i would recommend one and i'm not sponsored by bcm at all I'm not that i'm against being sponsored by bcm but i paid full price for it and that's about it man and just just an update well no actually i got a couple groups i want to show you this group was shot at 100 yards with hornaday black 62 grain and as you as you can see that's less than a two inch group i don't have a tape measure here to show you this one was shot with hornaday match 75 grain boat tail hollow points and on the video of the range i shot five rounds and i actually second guessed myself did i shoot four but once i actually looked at this that hole's a little egg shaped so two rounds went through the same hole right there which is pretty crazy at 100 yards and I'm not a excellent shooter or anything, so I was in the prone, just rested on a bag, a book uh, backpack, so nothing fancy. And I had a couple other groups here, but as you can see, they're all about exactly the right spot. Now we did have a good wind blowing this way, blowing to the right that day, but uh. After I shot these, I went back and tightened my zero up a little bit, and it did move, need moved down just a little bit, and I moved it to the left just a little bit, and it's it's dead on now, but I was really happy with those groups. I'm going to keep shooting, and hopefully I can tighten them up a little bit more, and I will keep you guys posted, and that's about it. Uh, if you find any of the content here helpful or like anything, just give me a subscribe give me a like i really appreciate everyone that's subscribed so far it's awesome how fast this channel's jumped up to 450 subscribers like i can't believe it i really appreciate it and i guess that's about it for this one we'll see you on the next one appalachian smoke wagon out for now